welcome to our carol service here at St Peter's Church, Rankham. As we gather here today to hear again with joy the message of the angels, let us journey in heart and mind to Bethlehem. Let us create the space in our lives to reflect upon those events of 2,000 years ago. We shall do this through song, poetry and through listening to the Holy Word of God. And as we do so, let's pray for peace on earth, for justice among all people, for care for the poor and needy. And at this time of pandemic, let's pray for our neighbours, for all those whom we love and care about, and indeed for ourselves. Light looked down and saw darkness. I will go there, said Light. Peace looked down and saw war. I will go there, said Peace. Love looked down and saw hatred. I will go there, said Love. So he, the Lord of Life, the Prince of Peace, the King of Love, came down and crept in beside us. Augustus Caesar sent an order that all people in the countries under Roman rule must list their name, names in a register. This was the first registration. It was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to their own towns to be registered. So Joseph left Nazareth, a town in Galilee, and went to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, known as the town of David. Joseph went there because he was from the family of David. Joseph registered with Mary, who was pregnant. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to have the baby, and she gave birth to her first son. Because there were no rooms left in the inn, she wrapped the baby with pieces of cloth and laid him in a feeding trough. Thanks be to God.
The shepherds hear about the birth of Jesus. That night, some shepherds were in the fields nearby, watching their sheep. Then, an angel of the Lord stood before them. The glory of the Lord was shining around them, and they became very frightened. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news. There will be a great joy to all the people. Today, your Saviour was born in the town of David. He is Christ, the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find a baby, wrapped in pieces of cloth, and lying in a feeding box. Then, a very large group of angels from heaven joined the first angel, praising God and saying, Give glory to God in heaven, and on earth let there be peace among the people who please God. When the angels left them and went back to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So the shepherds went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in a feeding trough. When they had seen him, they told what the angels had said about this child. Everyone was amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured these things and continued to think about them. And the shepherds went back to their sheep, praising God and thanking him for everything they had seen and heard. It had been just as the angel had told them. Thanks be to God. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was king. When Jesus was born, some wise men came from the east to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the baby who was born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was troubled, as were all the people in Jerusalem. Herod called a meeting of all leading priests and teachers of the law and asked them where the Christ would be born. They answered, in the town of Bethlehem, in Judea. The prophet wrote about this in his scriptures. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not just an insignificant village in Judah. A ruler will come from you, who will be like a shepherd for my people, Israel. When Herod had a secret meeting with the wise men and learned from them the exact time that they first saw the star, he sent the wise men to Bethlehem, saying, Look carefully for the child. When you find him, come tell me, so I can worship him too. After the wise men heard the king, they left. The star that they had seen in the east went before them until it stopped above the place where the child was. When the wise men saw the star, they were filled with joy. They came to the house where the child was and saw him with his mother, Mary and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their gifts and gave him treasures of gold, frankincense and myrrh. But God warned the wise men in a dream not to go back to Herod, so they returned to their own country using a different path. Thanks be to God.
by U. A. Fanthorpe. This was the moment when before turned into after, and the future's uninvented timekeepers presented arms. This was the moment when nothing happened, only dull peace sprawled boringly over the earth. This was the moment when even energetic Romans could find nothing better to do than counting heads in remote provinces. And this was the moment when a few farm workers and three members of an obscure Persian sect walked haphazard by starlight straight into the kingdom of heaven. What it all means for us. In the beginning there was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made by him and nothing was made without him. In him there was life and that life was the light of the people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overpowered it. 
There was a man named John who was sent by God. He came to tell the people the truth about the light so that through him all people could hear about the light and believe. John was not the light, but he came to tell people the truth about the light. The true light that gives light to all was coming into the world. The word was in the world and the world was made by him. But the world did not know him. He came to the world that was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to all who did accept him and believe in him, he gave the right to become children of God. They did not become his children in any human way, by any human parents or human desire. They were born of God. The word became a human and lived among us. We saw his glory, the glory that belongs to the only son of the father, and he was full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. So may the joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds, and the peace of the Christ child be your experience this Christmas. And may the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you and those whom you love. Today, this Christmas, and forevermore. Amen.
year, Rankham College has chosen the British Heart Foundation as our nominated charity. This charity often has the reputation as being for older people, but did you know that over 4,000 babies have been diagnosed with a heart condition in the UK every year? Prior to the British Heart Foundation being established, four in five babies with a heart condition would not make it to their first birthday. Now, four in five of them will become adults. As we are not in the Sire Ancestor Church this year, and we don't have any physical collection, you can still help and donate by visiting this website, www.justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash Rankham college. Thank you for your support.